Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my friend Amanda, who you already know from my previous videos. Hi. Uh, we felt like it was about time to make another yoga video. Because the first one been very successful and a lot of you liked it, so we decided to film another one. And today we're doing we're doing a wake-up flow. So we're hoping that this is something you'll do first thing in the morning, get your day started. There's a lot of attention on gratitude in this video, which is something great to start your day off and carry with you throughout your day and I hope you guys enjoy it. Perfect, let's get to it. I feel like we all need this good morning push, right? <laughs> I know I do. I don't do it often enough. I know. We all have to put a little bit more effort into stretching for sure. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay guys. Welcome. You'll begin your class today laying on your mat. Spine pressing towards the ground beneath you and feeling the support. You have a few moments here to just breathe and set your intentions, set your space for your yoga practice. And as you breathe, I invite you to breathe in for the count of four, hold for four, and exhale for four. And let's start our practice of gratitude. So as you inhale, thinking of something you're grateful for, letting it hold in the space, and as you exhale, gratitude for that being or object or feeling will fill your body and continue with that with each inhale thinking of something new to be grateful for holding space and as you exhale feeling that gratitude glow through your body this really is such a beautiful way to start your day or end your day in a practice of gratitude, which is actively creating positive karma in your life. And one more, we'll inhale for one, two, three, four, Keeping that attitude of gratitude with you. Point through your toes, lift your arms up over your head. Activate your fingertips, full body stretch. And now opening up into star, you can spread your legs, spread your arms. Take up as much space as you possibly can and just feel that big energy. And now bringing your knees into your chest your forehead to your knees if that's in your practice and giving yourself a big big hug now feeling just gratitude for you for being here and taking time out of your day to come to your practice on your next exhale gently rolling over onto your right side and coming up to a comfortable seated position we'll start with seated cat cow so hands on your knees inhale arch your spine gaze up Exhale, round through your spine, gaze at your belly, feel yourself lifting up out of your shoulders. Inhale, arch your spine, cow pose. Exhale, rounding into cat. And continue like that with your breath for three more. Inhale. through that spine. One more heart forward. Gaze up. Exhale round your spine. Now bringing your spine back to neutral. We'll inhale our arms rise up. Exhale we'll twist right hand to left knee. Three breaths in. Up above you. Exhale, left hand, right knee. 
twist for three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more breath, making any adjustments you need. And back to center, arms come up over your head, and hands plant to the front of your mat, roll over onto your knees into tabletop position, and we're here for traditional cat-cow. Five of these, inhale, arch your spine, gaze up. Exhale, round through your spine, gaze at your belly, press your tops of your feet into the mat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Continuing with your breath. Bringing gratitude back into your heart. One more time. Inhale, heart forward, gaze up. Exhale, arch your spine, gaze at your belly. Feeling that activation coming all the way from your pelvic floor up into your center banda. And release back to neutral spine. Tuck your toes, step back into a high plank. And then shift your hips back. Now bend your knees, arms stretched out in front of you, and you're in a knee bent downward facing dog. So you can kind of play around here, whatever feels good. You can pedal your feet, slowly straighten out your legs, bend them again, whatever feels good here. This is just where you're starting to move, filling your mat and finding your flow. If you can, press back to your downward facing dog. Come up onto your tiptoes and slowly tiptoe your feet to the front of your mat. You're in a forward fold, hands to your shins, gaze halfway look up, exhale fold forward. Arms rise up above you, hands press together and inhale, find length. Exhale, drop it over, side stretch to the right. Feel that stretch all along your left side body. With each inhale, come up a couple inches, find some height, and use that space now to exhale. Drop a little deeper. A few more breaths like that. So as you inhale, finding length. Exhale, dropping deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. And back up to center. Hands touch above you. Gentle back bend here. Inhale, find length. Exhale, drop it over to the left. Inhale, find space. Exhale, drop a little lower. Inhale. Exhale, expanding into the stretch. Really feeling it all along your right side body. Two more breaths. One more, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We're gonna OM. Join us if you feel comfortable. Otherwise, come back to your practice of gratitude. Inhale. Moving with the sun salutation A, inhale, arms rise up above you. Exhale, reach forward as you fold. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Knees bent if that feels good, or you can start to stretch them out. Four more breaths here. Dropping back into our practice of gratitude. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. And coming up onto your tiptoes, slowly walk yourself to the front of your mat, 
We're still in a forward fold. Bring those hands to your shin. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to stand, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands to your side, mountain pose. Exhale, drop into chair pose. It's okay for you to your knees to come a little bit forward so you're not feeling this so much in your lower back. And inhale, a little bit of length here. Exhale, drop a little deeper. One more time, inhale, maybe you're finding your arms rotating inward. Exhale, engaging through the core. On your next inhale, rising up to stand. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, step it back into the high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, drop halfway. You're in chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg up. On your exhale, rounding through your spine, bring that right knee into your forehead. Press through your fingertips, lift up out of your shoulders. Inhale, right leg comes back up. And on your exhale, same movement, except for we drop our right foot in between our hands. Ground through your heels, rise up, strong warrior one. Gaze is forward. Exhale here, drop a little lower, maybe coming to a 90 degree angle on your right leg. Inhale, activate through your fingertips. Exhale, reach forward, plant your hands to your mat, step back, high plank. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, lower down halfway, bringing your shoulders just a little bit forward as you do so. Inhale, find your upward dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. And now we'll do it on the left. So inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, left leg back up. Exhale, make space, drop your left foot in between your hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Arms up above you, energetically pulling your heels in towards one another, both hips face forward. Exhale, hands sweep forward to touch the floor. Plant your hands in a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, roll over your toes. Arch your chest forward, look up, upward dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. And finally, you get a little break. Whatever you want here, if you wanna keep your knees bent or even like pedal it out, dance a little, this is your flow. And you're here for five breaths. Bring gratitude back into your heart. And two more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. And come back up on your tiptoes. Gently walk your feet back to the front of your mat, fending length as you do so, hips stay high. And when you reach the front, hands to your shins, halfway look up. Stay here in this halfway point, and I want you to suck your belly in as deep as you possibly can. Feel that really strong core activation. and. As you stay here, I want you to gently lean the weight of your body into your toes. And when you do that, you should feel your pelvic floor activate. So from here, you fold forward. Inhale, arms rise up above you. We're standing tall. Exhale, hands to your side. Inhale, come to chair. Exhale, hands back to your mat. Step it back into a high plank. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two, gaze forward. Inhale, reverse it. On your exhale, bring your right forearm to board your right knee. And left arm shoots up overhead feeling a nice juicy stretch all along that left side body. On your next inhale, rise back up into warrior two. Exhale, drop a little deeper. On your next inhale, you straighten through that right leg and reach your right hand out in front of you, preparing for triangle, inhale. 
Exhale, drop your right hand down to your right, right shin. So start higher. You're gonna be here for a few breaths. So I'd rather you find, you need to always feel that left side stretch. So take a block or keep your hand up on your shin. Inhale, find space here. On your exhale, you use that space to reach the crown of your head even further forward. So you only get deeper in the pose by finding more length. And continue breathing, making any adjustments that feel good. On your next inhale, pulling back up into a warrior two. Exhale, sink into it. Reverse it on the next inhale. Exhale, windmill both hands down to the front of your mat. Step it back to a high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, flow into your upward dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. And we go for the left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through your hands. Inhale, rise up, strong warrior one. Exhale, open up, strong warrior two. Inhale, find expansion, reaching from your left fingertips all the way back to your right fingertips. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, left forearm to board the left knee. And your right arm swings out up over in front of you. You're feeling that stretch all the way from your right fingertips down to your right toes. If you find that it's in your practice, you can reach back behind you with your right arm to grab the inside of your left thigh for a bind. You can continue to hold this bind as you straighten through your left leg and we're coming into triangle. So if you've got the bind, you hang here for a little bit. Otherwise, you're bringing your left hand down into your shin. And the same as we did on the other leg. You inhale here and you only exhale if you can do so by lengthening forward. Always feeling that right side body engaged, not dumping into your left hip. I like keeping a bind here because it almost makes you stay aligned through your spine. And it keeps your left legs engaged correctly so you feel like an outward rotation on your left inner thigh and you feel an inward rotation on your right thigh. On your next inhale, pull back up into your warrior two. Inhale, expand just through your arms. Exhale, drop into it a little deeper into your left knee, maybe to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, reverse it. Windmill your hands to the front of your mat. Step back into a plank pose. Inhale here, engage through your core. Exhale, slowly lower forward. Inhale, pull through into your upper dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog for five breaths. You can use this time here as recovery or you can use it to continue to engage. So sucking in your belly, feeling that core bond engage, activating through your pelvic floor, pressing through your fingertips, relaxing through your shoulders, allowing your chest to drop a little bit closer to your mat. You should find a juicy release through your spine here. And come back to that practice of gratitude. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your next inhale, your right leg rises up. Exhale, bring that right knee in between your hands, drop it to your mat, we're coming into pigeon. So set up for your pigeon pose and Gently glance over your right shoulder to check that your left foot is in line with your left hip. And look over your left shoulder just to stay balanced. And next you're coming onto your forearms. Inhale here. Exhale, reach your fingertips out in front of you. Sink into your pigeon. Five breaths here.
cup your fingertips and gently pull yourself up back into a high pigeon pose. Inhale, arch your spine, gaze up. Exhale, turn towards the back of your mat. Your inside of your right foot touches the inside of your left thigh. Inhale, arms rise up above you. Exhale, forward fold. If it feels good, you can do that one more time. Hands rise up above your head. Exhale, forward fold. And just like in some of the other poses that we did during this class, you can come up a little bit as you inhale to create space in your center. You can even grab onto your belly and like push your belly, almost digging your fingertips under your rib cage. And exhale, fold forward. One more breath here, inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, sit back up. Right arm rises up to the sky. Exhale, drop it back behind you, pressing your fingertips into your mat, point through your left toes, and swing your left arm up above you into sunshine pose, pushing your hips forward. And sit back down. Bring your hands back to the front of your mat, coming into a high plank pose. Push back to downward facing dog and we'll do it on the left side. So inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring that left knee in between your hands, drop it down for pigeon. Glance over your left shoulder to check that your right foot is in line with your right hip. And then glance over your right shoulder. Come down onto your forearms, sphinx pose. Inhale, exhale, walk your hands out into full pigeon. Come back to your gratitude, put a little smile on your face. Walking your hands back up, high pigeon. Maybe take a little back bend, gaze up. And turn towards the back of your mat. Inside of your left foot will automatically come to the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Stay here or go for it again. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, gently fold forward. Finding that core activation. Again, only going deeper by lengthening forward. One more breath here. Exhale, really sink into it. Inhale, sit up. Left arm comes up overhead. Exhale, drop it back behind you. And lift your hips up into sunshine pose. So pressing your hips forward. Right fingertips are stretching towards the front of the room. And sit back down on your exhale. Both hands come to the front of your mat and you step back to a high plank pose. You can go for one final vinyasa or you can push back straight to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, you can hop or step forward, come to sitting down, and then gently come to laying down on your mat. We'll take a very gentle back bend in the form of fish pose. So come up onto your forearms, gently drop your head back to rest on your mat for five breaths here. Expansion in your chest and expansion through your shoulders. You should feel like a goddess right here. And one last deep breath in. Exhale, mouth open. Now you'll release your head, come laying flat on your mat. Inhale. 
for your right knee into your chest, hug it close to you, thank your body for the practice today, and then drop it over to your left side for a gentle twist. On your next inhale, pulling that right knee back into your chest. Exhale, letting it go, both legs straight out in front of you. Inhale, pull that left knee into your chest, give it a big hug, thank you. And send it over to the other side. A moment of gratitude for how good this pose feels. breath in, deep breath out, pull that knee back into your center and let it go, both legs straight out in front of you, hands resting by your side, the movement portion of your yoga practice is now over, so you can continue on to your day or take advantage of the space and spend a couple of moments here in Savasana meditation. I'm so happy that we could share this time here together today. It really is such a pleasure. And wherever you are, whatever you are headed off to do today, I wish you peace and happiness. Namaste.